post-game press conference for the NCAA Division III Championship Semifinal between Springfield College and Stevens Institute of Technology as Springfield advanced to the NCAA Division III National Championship after a straight set win Saturday afternoon at Blake Arena. We're joined today by Springfield College head coach Charlie Sullivan and student athletes Eli Irizarry Perez, Luis Vega, and Sean Zubich. Coach, if you could provide us uh, an opening statement from today's victory. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really difficult tournament. It's a challenging tournament, and uh, today was no different. The Stevens Institute of Technology, their team, uh, fought hard and, and kept on coming at us and uh, put a lot of pressure on us and did some things really well. And uh, it's just the way it is this time of year. You don't get any uh, easy games or easy matches. You have to play at a high level. You have to execute, execute really well. And uh, it was a challenging night in Blake Arena for sure. Sean, you just talked about a pretty electric atmosphere in Blake uh, from a student athlete perspective. Uh, what was that energy like tonight? Oh man, it's it's amazing. The the amount of support we get here at Springfield College, uh, one for just regular season games, and then the show out that we get for a national championship turn, tournament game like this. It's it's amazing to to see how many people are just absolutely believe in you, and they just have your back no matter what. Uh, Luis, you finished the day with uh, 20 kills, hitting 57573. Five, Just uh, for you personally, what was working well? Uh, I mean, our passing was fantastic today. Uh, Eli took care of all of the communication and stuff, and once we passed well, we let Luis run the offense, and I just do my job and point the ball down as, it, as we did today. Eli, uh, with a lot of offensive starts here, easy to look past the defense. You guys lead the country in, in uh, opponent's team hitting percentage. Talk about for you guys anchoring that defense today, holding Steven's team uh, to a, a quiet offensive performance? Um, you know, we, we just try to work hard together, um, stay connected as a team and focus on our scouting report, not get too crazy when playing defense, just being us on the court and just playing together. Hey, Louis. Uh, Lou, where do you think you've gotten better this year as a senior? Where did you challenge yourself to say, you know, uh, to go from really good to great? Where did you challenge yourself? Uh, Main, the main the main way uh, I think mentally, I got tougher. I got um, and also like working down in the gym. I physically I wanted to be stronger to, throughout the whole year, and I think that's where I I grow more. And, uh, uh, back row attacks is that been some is that like your favorite part maybe of volleyball? And have you always been doing let's say when you were twelve back row attacks? Well, uh, this year I just wanted to focus more on like. Being more consistent, and I've been talking a lot to my setter, uh, Luis, and our connection has been fantastic. So a lot of credit for him. And then, um, uh, what is serving like in practice? Uh, it, it seems like this bunch is probably a little bit better. Uh, uh, just become a great serving team. What is that like in practice when you when you see that? Well, our main focus uh, this year since the beginning was being tough in the serving line. Uh, we found ourselves not as Good the past years when we wanted to be topper on the server line. That's our favorite skill and the most important skill. So we, during practice, we serve like championship. And when we play, we, we serve like practice. So that's our main goal. Sean is a guy that doesn't serve a lot, at least that I've seen the matches. How good is this serving? You've seen so much volleyball in your life. How can you describe how great it is as someone that's inside the sport? Oh, it's fantastic. It's uh, the amount of focus that the guys start with back there is second to none um, and like you, like you were alluding to like the s serving that we see in practice is just spectacular so it sets us up pretty well for good matches i think i see 17 errors on the stat sheet mm -hmm. i don't know if you're looking at it the same one i am i'm not sure so we have some improvement to do yeah, there for sure yeah. coach in 2015 you saw stevens in the national championship and this season you weren't able to see them at all in the regular season again. What's it like coming back and seeing them in another playoff setting? Uh, I don't think it's uh, really similar, Sam. I just think it's, uh, it's another challenge that we have to step up to and, and play with uh, good direction, good focus, and, and do our best in. I don't know if we really relate this match to two years ago. It's just uh, with the, the turnover and personnel, it's a totally different culture, a totally different, totally different team. Okay, and Tucker had a day from behind the service line today, yeah. five aces, and even more so with the, the energy from the crowd really firing up your team. Yeah. Um, can any of you even comment on how that really shifted some momentum towards your side and really kept you flowing to the rest of the, to the end of set three? Yeah, when, when Tucker does his job, which is extremely challenging, to come off the bench and, and serve aggressively, uh, sit there for 10 minutes and get up and throw a rocket. Uh, when he does that job, it's, uh, it's an influential leadership action, so we, we 
we all get inspired by that and it makes everyone better for sure. And hey there, Sean and Luis, uh, you two have the chance to come full circle and win another national title. Uh, what's that going to feel like for you if you can acquire that and what would it be like to face New Paltz in your final game? Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I, 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 it's an honor to reach this point in general. So who we face, uh, it, it, uh, it'll be exciting to see who it is. But um, I, you know, I'm more excited to see how we perform in that setting and how how we're able to stay connected this whole time. That uh, that's something we've been working on all year and just being connected and being together and being a team. Luis, how have you prepared all season for this moment? Well. It, uh, this year we have been like very tough. So everything that I do, I think about tough on something that we gotta earn. So every time we, um, we step on the court, we just try to earn, earn it, and just be at, at your best all the time. So just bring it in um, as your maximum effort all the time. So, Sean, you have one game left in your career at Springfield College. Like, tell me about your journey from freshman year to now. Oh, it's uh, it's been interesting. Um, you know, freshman year coming in. Uh, and uh, playing very fast uh, and kind of almost had like an ignorance about myself. I just went up and I swung and I blocked and I, I guess I didn't know much magnitude at the moment. Um, and in some ways I, I think that was kind of good uh, when we reached the pinnacle that year. And then, you know, last year not being able to play for the majority of the year, um, working through that, you know, I think that's been one of my biggest stepping stones mentally is just getting over you know, injury and just being able to like trust my own body. Uh, and now, you know, we're looking towards our last game and, you know, all I can do and all, all of us can do is say that we're going to give everything we have to every single moment <clears throat> on the court. Cool. Do you have bad blood or a chip towards New Paltz or Steven that every time you see them on the national stage, you just kind of want to fire up the guys a little more? I think it's more respect. I don't think it's bad blood or what was the second one? Chip on your shoulder. Chip on your yeah. No, I think it's more respect. We respect all our opponents and uh, the challenge that they bring, and that just makes us better. We respect them a lot. What do you think Stevens did well today? Uh, I think they attacked well. I mean, uh, we don't have a lot of teams that uh, hit hit that high on us in numbers wise, and uh, we were trying to figure out their their offense a little bit and get some more digs. And I think we we were able to get some digs at some key times, which was really good for us when kind of our block. Wasn't there right in the right spot. We were able to cover that up with some back row defense that was quite effective. But uh, you now, Sh Gabe is uh, Shank Waller is a great, great player and has great attitude. And I think he's really uh, rubs off on that team. I think their their setter was calm and, and did a nice job. And uh, that freshman opposite is going to be around for a while, so he's going to be respectfully <laughs> uh, waiting on him for a long time. That'd be great. Oh, this is for Sean and Luis. Um, you, uh, you guys um, obviously won a championship your freshman year, uh, trying to go for a full circle this year. Um, but um, you did uh, you did lose to Stevens um, uh, th uh, three of uh, 2015. Um, what, what was that like? Um, you know, uh, what, what do you, what do you remember from that game specifically? Like, uh, and uh, how um, how did you if, if you did how did you transfer? Uh, that sort of you guys are excited. Yeah. Yeah. Stevens. Um, yeah. So that game. Um, from what? <laughs> from what? I, what? Was it not yeah, uh, sophomore. So from that game, uh, I remember. So we had our right side go down during warmups, um, and uh, had some knee problems. Uh, he ended up playing the first two sets, and then I came in off the bench during that match. And um, all I remember is giving in to my jitters, uh, giving in to my nervousness instead of using it as fuel um, to be a better player. Um, and I think that's kind of what changed between these two bouts with Stevens. You know, that was the last time I ever saw Stevens in uh, playing them. So you know, I did I did have a little angst, and you know, I, I wanted to prove myself to that team. You know, uh, people like Gabe, uh, Gabe was on that team that we played, and he played really well that match. And you know, I kind of wanted to prove that you know I was a good player. Any uh, specific play that you remember? Any specific play? Any specific moment? From today or from, uh, from, 15? from from fifteen? From fifteen, not necessarily a specific play. I would say I would say after the match, uh, just uh, you know, after the match, we, we were obviously not 
very happy. We were a little devastated. But the amount of emotion we showed show how much love we had for each other. So that's one thing I remember from that match, definitely. Eli, you guys had a couple match points tonight, and Stevens came back at three consecutive blocks and earned their first set point of the night. Talk about your guys' grit to be able to, to really buckle down and defensively force him into three straight attack errors to, to clinch a spot in the title match. Yeah, we, towards the end of the game, we kind of slow, um, slowed down. So we just huddled up on the court, um, talked to each other, looked each other in the eye, and said to just take a deep breath and just be you on the court, and that uh, we had each other's back. So to not worry about anything, to just play our game and stick to the game plan. Coach, you guys will play in your eighth straight national championship match tomorrow. Uh, just your thoughts, either opponent, uh, Wentworth or New Paltz, uh, what you're anticipating. Uh, anticipating a great match. We anticipating we need to get to work and start preparing right away. We're a little behind. And uh, get up there and watch that uh, other semifinal match and get ready. Congrats, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, you guys coach, no candy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm <yeah. laughs>